Hi, my name is Steven, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this video, I'm going to be talking about taxes and Seller Central, how to apply your tax settings within Seller Central. If you need any consulting help, go over to MyAmazonGuy.com and contact us. All right, so when you first go to this section, if you haven't been here in a while, um, you, you go to Settings and go to Tax Settings. That'll pull up this screen here. And they're basically calling out the fact that most states are now requiring Amazon to collect, uh, collect tax on their behalf. So um, if you scroll in here, you can see the states, um, the jurisdiction information and all that. So uh, it feels like about 25 states or so, everything you see here listed, are automatically collecting tax already. So if you see your state in this list here, you do not need to go uh, put your state tax ID in. It is basically taken care of. There are dozens of tax services out there that will help with state um, taxes and collections and all of that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> there's also a rather large debate about Nexus and whether you've got inventory in multiple FBA centers and all that. I'm going to sidestep that debate for the sake of this video. Um, listen to your own tax uh, con, um, expert internally, CPA or otherwise, uh, on what you should nexus. But let's assume for the moment that you've got your own decision has been made that you're going to nexus in a single state, and that state was not listed on this list. All you need to do is click the Add State button. So let's say I needed to add Alaska. I come in and hit the Add Alaska button, fill in the state tax information, and hit Click to assign custom. Uh, and, and then you hit the hit the buttons where you're going to collect county, city, district, etc. So that is literally all you have to do to set up Nexus within Seller Central. It is that simple. Um, you can, you know, if you've got a weird situation where you're tax exempt for any reason, you can enroll in that program here. Um, I recommend you use a Gen Tax code unless you've got a very specific uh, product niche and you want to, you know, go, go more formal and go uh, subcategory down. So if you've got a very specific uh, product that has a lower or a different tax rate, you may want to fill it in here. Because um, if you have filled it in and your competitor has not, perhaps you have a tax benefit that makes your items sell for less, um, and that could be a benefit. So definitely review that list if it's applicable to you. Otherwise, I recommend just filling in Gen Tax, hit Save Settings, and you're off to the races. There really isn't anything further. So again, go to Settings, Go to tax settings that pulls up this screen, fill in your state tax code there, and hit save at the bottom, and you're done. Um, so again, if you need any uh, consulting needs for anything related to Amazon, selling on Amazon, Seller Central, uh, technical or otherwise, we have a variety of different services ranging from advertising, A-plus content build, trademark registration, uh, general merchandising and SEO work, and filling product stuff in. Go over to myamazonguy.com or leave a comment or question on this video. Thanks.